Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and firmware updates can be a headache, but with the Ledger Flex and the Ledger Stacks, they are much easier now. And also, you can use your phone to update your firmware. You used to have to connect your Ledger Nano X or lower to a computer to do the firmware update, and that frustrated a lot of people that were only doing crypto on their phone and didn't even have a computer. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to update the firmware on your Ledger Stacks or Ledger Flex from your phone. So let's jump in. All right, so it used to be kind of a pain to do firmware updates. Not anymore. Let's just go into Ledger Live here on our phone. So to check for firmware updates, you go down to the My Ledger section down here in the right corner. We'll allow the secure connection. All right, and it's going to alert us that there is an OS update. So uh, let's just tap on that. And uh, we'll just deal with the flex right now. We'll hit Start OS Update. All right, you'll notice that it starts over on the device. The device is connected. So what it's doing is downloading the firmware update onto the device. And once the firmware update is on the device, then the firmware uh, software can run the update on the device. I say firmware. Uh, they're referring to it as OS now. It's basically an interchangeable term when it comes to a ledger device. All right, now that we've got it downloaded onto the device, we'll go ahead and tap install on the device. And it's going to update the OS. Make sure you read these instructions. <laughs> A lot of people, uh, when they see this uh, pin screen, they think they're done. Uh, you need to please enter the pin and continue. All right, now uh, what it's doing is restoring the apps that you had on there before. So we'll hit allow on the device and you can see uh, on your phone all of the apps are being reinstalled. It'll tell you which one is being installed. So of course, uh, I've had, of course I have the Bitcoin app um, and you can just keep an eye on this as it reinstalls all of the apps that you had on there before. All right, you can see the Bitcoin app is now on my device. This might take a little bit, so uh, you can just sit back and relax while this goes on. All righty, so now we've got our uh, Ledger Flex all the way up to date. We just finish up here. If the Flex goes to sleep and it loses the connection, just re-enter your pin. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, it's very easy to update your firmware on a Ledger Stacks or a Ledger Flex. If you have any questions, throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.